In the last quarter of the 5th century BC, a merchant ship heavily loaded with wine was traversing the waters near the sporadic islands of Alonissos and Peristera in the Aegean Sea. Unfortunately, the ship met its fate that day and was not discovered until almost 2,500 years later. The ship's fate was unknown until a fisherman, Dmitri Mavrikis, happened upon it. Dr. Elpida Hadjadake excavated the wreck and discovered archaeological evidence that changed our understanding of shipbuilding and maritime craftsmanship in ancient times. Co-funded by the Marabox and Bitfrost projects and based on Dr. Hadjadake's excavations, possible events leading up to the ship's demise have now been reconstructed as an augmented reality-situated documentary to be explored and experienced on location. The excavations uncovered many beautiful and well-preserved artifacts, amphoras from Mende and Skoupalos, as well as black-glazed tableware from Athens were the main cargo, in addition to items from the crew's personal belongings. The archaeological findings also show that the ship had been on fire before it capsized. The amphoras indicate that the ship most probably sailed from northern Greece through Chalkidiki and that the last port of call was the island of Skoupalos. The augmented reality situated simulation is designed to be used with a smartphone or tablet from the shores of Alonassos and Peristera or from a boat in the vicinity of the ancient ship's final navigation route. The experimental app then simulates the proposed closing hours of the ship's last voyage. After starting from Skoupalos under sunny skies, the weather quickly changes. Wind and waves increase and dark heavy clouds gather above. A thunderstorm is approaching fast. The crew tries to navigate the ship into safer waters, but suddenly lightning strikes the mast with devastating consequences. The massive impact causes a fire on board and eventually the loaded ship sinks. Slowly, the ship descends 30 meters to the rocky seabed below. Here, in the strait between the islands of Alonissos and Peristera, the remains still reside. When dry diving to the wreck, positioned hypertext links give access to high-resolution scans of artifacts using 3D Harp, the 3D Heritage Online Presenter. One can rotate the objects, zoom in on details and do measurements. Other links give access to Dr. Hadjadaka's publications about the excavations, as well as a live underwater camera feed from the Noose project. The Peristera shipwreck was very important because nothing like that has been discovered so far. Uh, the Romans are considered to start building uh, large ships in the first century BC, but it proves that the Greeks knew it a long time before them. And I just hope that someday I will go back and find out what type of a ship it was.